what's up everybody welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be doing a pwm flicker test and pwm remember is short for pulse width modulation and basically it's just a method that manufacturers use to adjust the display's brightness and it definitely is a cost saving measure for them to use this particular type of method but the other side of things is that this can sometimes cause headaches or eye strains for some people that makes their eyes watery or kind of has a burning sensation for them and some people they even kind of get nauseous and so it's interesting to see from the devices that are like the most popular in the world just what's happening when we slow things down so this video recording actually slows everything down to 240 frames per second and this is recorded using an, another um, iphone 15 pro and just on a slow motion and so we're just sawing everything down. Now it's interesting, like I have all of these devices and it, everything looks great when I'm watching media or looking at something on the internet. But when we slow things down, you get a chance to see what's actually happening. And for some people, their brain, well, your brain knows that all of this is happening. Your eye can't detect it sometime, or for most of, for most of us, your eyes are not gonna to detect it but your brain does know that the flickering is happening, which is interesting. And there are some people that are a lot more sensitive to this and it drives them crazy. <laughs> it just drives them nuts. And so it's a good idea to kind of take a look um, either before you purchase something or if you notice that when you use a device for a long time that you kind of have a headache or you kind of get some irritation, it might be worth checking out uh, if the PWM is something that is causing it um, sometimes um, there are certain displays that don't really have it as much um, but oled displays are definitely um, more notorious for it so the colors look great the displays look great but what you see happening is what's actually happening and so these devices are the 15 pro max um, on the left, the Galaxy uh, Fold 5 in the middle, and then on the complete right-hand side was the Galaxy S24 Plus. And as you can see throughout this entire test, with um, each image going from medium brightness to the highest and down to the lowest, the Fold 5 definitely struggled uh, throughout this test. So the other two devices did a great job. 